Hey, how's it going everyone? So today we're going to be hopping into the ultimate red zone. Uh, so far, throughout part 3, the only content I've cleared is the new story event. I set my supporters for chain battle, and then I also easy aid Gogeta and Vegito here, the 3 year anniversary LRs. That's the only content I've cleared so far. I haven't done any of the new red zone stages or new missions, but we are going to take on Baby today. He was actually released during part 2 of the anniversary. Um, so let's go ahead and hop in and see how we can do. We also cleared the new Dragon Ball story revamp for that uh, Bojack story event there with the free-to-play physical Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. But yeah, these two got their easy A now, so I'm hoping we got the full 200% leader skill. All these guys are on Kamehameha. So I figure we should be able to take on Baby this time around. He's been giving me some trouble, and he's right, literally only the fourth stage here. All right, but now we got 750k HP. We should be looking good. Let's see how we do. All right, so we got both the three years on rotation right off the bat. I'll leave Int Vegio right there since he does have type advantage against this uh, tech baby youth here. Yeah, so I'll have to do a separate video on these two. Look at them. 6.21 right there. Not too bad. I imagine before their easy A's, they were hitting around 4 mils, I think, with their 18 key super attacks. Maybe even a 5, but now they're hitting like 6, almost 7. They probably will hit 7s and 8s. If I get them, like, some support on rotation with these guys. But on the 200% leader skill, yeah, it's really good. But I'll probably do a separate video doing a showcase on either... I mean, I'll probably do one video for both of them because they're, they're so similar. Might as well run them next to each other or... Or, it's up to you guys, I could do a separate video on these two, kind of just building the team completely around them, but they are probably uh, best linking partners. These guys do have Saiyan lineage, which is a little better than these guys' golden warrior here, but uh, they're still both really good. Alright, so I guess we'll put mine up front here. They have less defense, considering these guys' this is probably 79%, yeah. Um, so yeah, they have less defense, we want to get as many stacks in as possible for, uh, my LR Super Saiyan 4s. Same with the Tech Gods, but they're in slot 7, they'll be on this next rotation here, and I'm gonna have to float them off anyways. It's like, I kinda wanna keep, um, Vegito and Gogeta together there, but I could float one of them off, get them on separate rotations as well. This next phase is AGL. This even this phase is giving me some trouble. It's pretty obvious you're not going to defeat him by yourself. Alright, we got the gods. Honestly, let, yeah, let's keep the gods right there. They have a couple links to these guys. He's prepared for battle, you know, Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, they'll have active. Um, let's see. Their last, his last phase is in, so we're wanna, gonna want uh, Fizz Gogeta around for that. So I guess we'll float off in the Judo for now. This team's got a lot of HP, man. Alright, we're guarding, plus we have type advantage, so... Still doing 159k, man, like, that's crazy, honestly. These guys, the gods at least had 130k defense right there, I think. Or it was like 140, closer to 150, I think. Guarding their first turn, and plus type advantage, man, he's still doing 150k damage. Like, this guy hits hard. And that's crazy, because this is phase two of the fourth stage of the GT Red Zone. Like, I... This this one probably isn't even that tough compared to, like, 
but it's killed me a lot. I mean, it is tough. But we got some other stages ahead of us with some stronger bosses, so... There's that. Well, we might as well fuse with STR Vegito while we have the chance. Um, yeah, let's do that right now. Give it to me now. This is what I'm supposed to do, right? Yep. Thank you, Tia. Since I'm the fusion of Vegeta and Kakarot, I guess that makes me Vegeta. And this is Super Vegito. Alright, so my Super Saiyan 4s are no longer guarding, and he's super attacking right there in the front. Well, I would love to stack you boys up, but it's time. Yeah, I'm honestly tempted to take an item right here, like a Whis, but there's still two more phases. They're both in phases after this, but... Alright, Gogeta. You only got 200k defense, man. This is, this is your time to shine. Yep, he's got GT with him. He's, he's gotta dodge this super attack, man. He's got the high chance. If he doesn't, it's over. Like, actually. Not taking too much from normals, but he, he has to dodge this. 50% chance, there it is, yeah! We got the counterattack, look at that. Does the bluff Kamehameha and just kicks you through a building. Hopefully it wasn't a mistake to transform him. Uh, this early. But we still got the other one. We can keep them stacking up, plus these last phases will be in. Got a nice triple super off right there. And that's, that's my 55% uh, Super Saiyan 4s there. Gogeta. Looking good. Alright, STR Vegito. You might take some damage from normals, especially if you don't get a double super attack. Oh, there it is. 3.41. Looking good. No crit, though. But he did get that double defensive raise. But holy man, 136k? Yeah, get it, this guy out of here, man. We're ready to move on to these int phases. Except the gods aren't going to be looking too crazy here. I've barely stacked them up uh, that much. And now he's int, so I'm gonna have to float them off, I think. But we do have the active skills, but I'm gonna save those, I think. He's launching a super right, right smack dab slot one, so I guess I'm gonna do this. They still have a medium chance to dodge with their easy A. Man, these guys at the end, they're no longer guarding. They shouldn't take too much, right? I'm taking a Whis. Well, we do have that Icarus active that go on an Icarus, but that, eh, we should be all right now. Yep, definitely popping that first Whis, just in case. Who knows how much damage this would would do if this guy didn't dodge it and he didn't, so. Well, 85k with, with a Whis, they do have type advantage. But at least we got these three-year anniversary units uh, fusions in our back pocket once we get to turn six and we're below 50% HP. And then we'll just have his giant ape phase, which is also int uh, after this one, I believe. Keep these friends Super Saiyan 4 stacking up and then we'll pop theirs on the last phase. Just start popping all these active skills and 
fusions and stuff. Oh, the gods are getting up there too, 7 million. Yeah, we gotta get those additional supers with them, man. We, got, we need these guys' defense like 600k plus, honestly. I mean, they would still like probably die to a super attack. There's Vegito. All right. So we're gonna fully recover our HP. We still got a Whis active for another turn. This guy's got his active skill. I don't think we're gonna use it. I guess we'll float uh, Vegito off. And honestly, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta here is probably going to finish Baby, and if he doesn't GT, Goku definitely will. 6.25, looking good. I barely, I stacked him for like one turn, I think they might have triple supered, I don't know. And there's the additional, the clone Kamehameha, going to finish him off. Yeah, I gotta admit, this stage has given me some trouble, but I have not got this far yet. I kept dying on the AGL phase, or the phase right before this one, but now... Now we're looking good. Um, so let's see. Yeah, we'll stick them there. I guess... Yeah, we might as well, huh? baby get ready for this hopefully this guy can uh man i can't even get a super attack with this guy and he even has prepared for battle active i stole the rainbow orbs with the uh, super saiyan 4 gogeta there hopefully str vegeta should be good there at the end you know seeing where the super attacks are just really helps of course they're usually always in slot one right off the bat, but hey man, if you bring these guys with you, you just might have a chance. This team is actually pretty good that we brought into here. But this is only, like I said uh, earlier in the beginning of the video, this is only the fourth stage of uh, the GT edition red zone. Still three more stages after this one. Same with the uh, movie edition one. And I have a feeling they're going to be a lot harder, so... We're going to really have to play our cards right and actually think about, you know, our rotations and the units we brought along with us. And wow, STR Vegito is taking a lot of damage from that normal. Alright, and there's the group attack. This is where I popped the Whis, man. Another Whis, I believe. Yep. Now we should be looking good. I want to transform these guys. I mean, I, I might as well. This is the last turn we're going to see them. I think it'll increase their defense a little bit. They actually lowered their defense. What turn is it? Turn 8? Oh, yeah. I guess... Well, I don't know. Because these guys would have lost their... 
attack and defense, 77% for 7 turns there, but... Nah, I'm sure we'll be alright. we still got a Whis active. We're taking this guy down right here. Maybe. Depends how hard these guys want to pop off right here. Nah, they're not doing that much damage. Unless they're critting. Like that. That's a decent chunk. Yeah, our HP's not quite below half. But we might be there once he does this uh, group attack on all our guys. Jeez, did, did GT Goku just do more damage than Super Saiyan 4 to Vegeta right there? I mean, I know I gave him his, his 12 key super attack, but... Ooh, they got a nice crit. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we just nullified his last attack there. That was going to be that group attack on us. Nice. We weren't below 50%, so we didn't get this other uh, fusion off yet. We'll pop this. Yeah, he's out of here. Alright, man, that's how you finish baby off right there. Awesome. Cool, I finally beat him. Holy man, that, that took me a couple tries, but... We got the seven-year LRs by our side. We got the three-year fusions with their easy A. Yeah, that was definitely a, definitely a good team to run to get it done. Everybody's on the 200% leader skill, everybody's max links. So we got my 55% Super Saiyan 4s here. We also brought one that was 79% with us, I imagine he was probably max links too. My Super Saiyan Gods with their dupe, sitting at 14.8, not too shabby. We got STR Vegito 90%, 28.15 on him. Like to put some juicy equips on all these guys since they're all like my top tier units. These guys are of course Rainbow. As well as, you know, in Vegito, man, I have extra copies of these guys. I actually rainbowed their TURs and I believe I have copies of their SSRs as well that I'll probably eventually be able to rainbow too. They've just been on so many banners, you guys know how it is. Especially if you're summoning like me. Here's 79% GT Goku, and that was the team we brought. Looking pretty good. It's definitely a pretty overpowered team. But, you know, Baby still could have easily taken us down if we didn't take our Whis items. You know, if we left one of these guys out in the open to get wrecked or something like that. But yeah, not too bad. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the red zone and how it's going and of the video and how we did um let me know what you guys want to see next and as always thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one